Hello fellas, Ben here with Surviving Country Life. Let's go, uh, let's see how cold it is and we gotta go feed the wood stove this morning. We got uh, about five inches of snow a couple days ago and uh, I've got the little paths cleared with uh, my tractor but I want to show them to you and get my uh, wood stove fed. It is 23 degrees outside. We got to get our uh, old Carhartt jacket on here. And we got to get our boots on here. Keep our feet dry and warm. That's on the wrong foot. That ain't gonna work. Don't show them that. got a little bit of wind today but not too bad oh. here's my load of uh, tree branches over here from trimming uh, trimming that locust tree up for that guy the other day and I got to either figure out where to dump these at or to dump them and burn them it's too windy today to want to mess around with that even though this would be a good day because everything's covered in snow so we had about five inches of snow a couple days ago and uh, my little loader works good because it fits right between here and uh, cleared cleared a path out here to the wood boiler the wood boiler says it's still at 159 degrees, so 185 is the set point. I fed this at about 7.30 last night, and there's a lot of maple. And what I've been using right now, maple and ash, mostly maple though. And so it didn't last quite as long, but 159 is still keeping the house warm. But as you can see, we are uh, we're due to put some more firewood in here, so let's let's stir around a little bit. We got a, too many coals left. Break break some of what we got in there forward. If we can find some hot coals, get that nice chunk over there to the side. Get our uh, Fiskars XA220 or something or other. I took the little tractor through here and cleared a path. So originally to start this year, and I started this wood boiler in, I think it was in October, probably the middle of October. No, or maybe even the middle of September. It probably was. Um, but this wood pile came out came out here and it was originally out into there uh, and fairly wide it was even over into here and probably six foot or more high but at this point we've got her winnowed back to this and this part in here is still my good dry wood and then I've got that other wind row in the back going that way and that's I imagine I can use some of that especially over there if I have to because that's a hackerberry tree over there but I didn't really want to go into that back wind row I want, wanted this to make it through the winter and maybe it will but that other wind row is my wood for uh, next year and then you'll notice that these are kind of shorter lengths because 
somewhere in this part of the pile I started uh, using a technique where I just cut the firewood shorter and split it into smaller chunks mostly because uh, I wanted to sell it and I didn't want to have to sort through it so much well that's fine but then the chunks that I'm feeding the wood boiler are shorter uh, and smaller which is okay they're actually they're still making it all the way through the night so Quite a bit of stuff frozen to the ground when you don't stack it on a pallet. How's the old uh, winter and the snowfall doing where you guys are at? Have you got much snow? This this is our biggest snowfall event, they call it. And we got five inches at once here, which really probably isn't that much. But to us, it's uh, a bigger deal because we haven't gotten diddly, diddly squat for snow all winter. So we're like, oh, five inches. Have you got much snow where you guys are at? There we go. That'll get us uh, at least till late afternoon or this evening. That don't look too bad. Let's make sure that this uh, this thing here is free and clear while we're at it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We got the wood stove fed, and I'll see you next time.